According to Ron DeSantis, textbook publishers are trying to indoctrinate students, but Ron DeSantis has provided few details. So we've obtained Florida's reviews of the textbooks. Many reviews are performed by right-wing activists from the Florida Citizens Alliance. Quote, Florida children are being indoctrinated in a public school system that undermines their individual rights and destroys our nation's founding principles and family values, the group says. One reviewer of a first grade text, Social Studies Alive, determined that the textbook was in very poor or no alignment with the Florida law. Why? The textbook's graphics and photographs include homosexual couples. Another initially rejected textbook from sixth to eighth grade was Civics Alive. One reviewer who did not recommend the text claims that the discussion of lesbianism is inappropriate for the middle school classroom. This is the entire discussion of lesbianism in the textbook. LGBTQ candidates have also made some headway gaining governmental positions. Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin became the first lesbian elected to the Senate in 2012. The same review concludes that the reference of LGBTQ court cases is an example of liberal bias that is inconsistent with state standards. This is the only LGBTQ court case referenced in the textbook. The review of Civics Alive Foundations and Functions also claims that the discussion of abortion rights is inappropriate. Uh, this is how the textbook addresses abortion rights. One middle school social studies textbook Florida U.S. History Advanced, was not rejected by the state, but had several issues flagged by a reviewer. The reviewer writes that slavery image on page 444 may violate the statute relating to guilt of future generations. The same reviewer also cites another image that depicts the life of a white plantation owner, which the reviewer believes is outside the scope of the standard and potentially the law. This is Popular Information, a newsletter that holds the powerful accountable. Find the full report on Substack and follow along here for more accountability journalism.